a BMW E90 325-2006. This is Armand from VAC Motorsports documenting the Valvetronic power cable that runs through these cars. This car came in with a Valvetronic issue. Valvetronic is their drive-by-wire system. Uh, Basically, it runs their valve lift as well, but it is their throttle, their main throttle. So this car had no throttle issues at random. They would come and go. The fault codes were for power supply to the Valvetronic motor. Uh, Just to show you the the circuit, how it works on these cars. This is in the battery. This is the power distribution block. This fat wire here is feeds this main harness along here and it goes feeds the front junction box or the front fuse box. The other, this is of course the main power wire um, on the battery terminal that feeds all this stuff. Um, it feeds this whole circuit, it looks like a fusible link type of thing. So that this is on one circuit. This other little wire here you see taps into here and this basically slides out as well. It's an easy uh, removal type of connection. Slides on, slides off. We, we broke this open for better visibility because we thought we had a problem here at the end of this because we were getting uh, intermittent low voltage. So I'll show you what the real cause was. As we went down, you could see the inside of this battery terminal, battery bay, is all brown from rust, water. There has been water sitting in here. Uh, clearly, this water, if you look further down, that, that connection has been marginalized, all corrosion down there. That's the real culprit. We thought it was up here because every time we touched this wire, it would cause this wire to wiggle. And of course, it wiggled down there and caused the problems. Okay, but we didn't know because the battery here, you couldn't even see down there, but we did see the brown around the battery. Now that wire comes all the way to the front of the car and it goes through the fuse box and ends up right here. Okay, bolts into here. This is the main, main power cable for the starter and alternator. This is like a junction. On the other side of the engine bay, we're under the engine bay here on the passenger side. On the other side is this little cover area. This is where you could remove this little trim piece here, this cover piece, and expose that terminal, okay? So again, on this side is the big cable, and this goes to the starter alternator, and this little one right here comes through the from you know being fed from under the fuse box comes out to here and goes up into here into the engine uh, e-box electronic box it feeds the 40 amp fuse here if you follow these power wires here feeds the fuse so easy test is check your power here at this fuse this fuse feeds a relay the electronic relay which is back under here Okay, so how we found is we kept seeing when the car was acting up, we would see low voltage here. And when I traced it and I saw it went to that junction right there, where does that go? This goes all the way to the back of the battery area, right on the floor. All right, 